cross she be met nobody worry us so there is a crowd oh. I'm in love oh. with you alone no oh. there is a crowd oh. met nobody put us under I'm in love oh. with you alone no oh. there is a crowd oh. met nobody put us under There is, there is a crowd. You need to see how this woman looked. She looked so wretched. Like, I would have never imagined that she would be like that. She was now trekking. Like, there were bosses. So God. What is happening to me? Why am I madly drawn to Josephine sexually? When I still love my wife? Ah, this has to stop. Why do I have the feeling like you want to kiss me? Hmm? Actually, I guess. Justin, I actually don't know how I feel like. Like you just said my mind. I don't know this kind of feeling, but honestly. No. Ah, no, no, I can't do this. Josephine, please. I want you to leave my room now. Do you really want me to go? Yes, Josephine. I want you to leave my room now. Dad, they look into my eyes and tell me to go out. Josephine, there's nothing to see in your eyes. Please, leave. Daddy. Don't study me. Just leave my room now, please. Really? You. Are you really chasing me out of your room? Josephine, leave my room this minute. Josephine, I said leave my room! Yes, she needs to get out of your room and out of your life. Baby, what are you doing here? But Danny. You see what you've cost me? You see what you have done me? Danny, you have cost me. I'm sorry, but Danny. I didn't know Josephine has so much evil up her sleeve. You see? You see how calm you're talking to me now? If you were this calm when I was about telling you that this were the reasons why I could never get married to Joseph. She is always either with the herbalist, with, with, with the prophets, I don't know, how fast, like, Josephine, oh no, God. I'm God. sorry, but that means, I'm very, very sorry. <sighs> Auntie Fibo advised that we all should leave your house. Who is Auntie Fibo? Auntie Fibo is the director of Lighthouse Academy, the one you took me to receive my SSC examination. Oh. Okay, I think I remember. Yes. That she's, madam? Yes, yeah, she's a very vibrant Christian. Okay. Okay. And again, I noticed Timmy was smiling during the chaos. Timmy? Yes, the maid. Timmy the maid? Yes. Are you sure she's not the one influencing, influencing all these things? My wife. Timmy. Oh, no, no, what have I brought upon myself? Well, you know, all these things have started before she came in. But then, I have my doubts. I know she would be the one doing one or two things. Till then, let everybody just, let us go to our place and, you know, so that you have your privacy. Everyone has to leave my house. Yes. Everyone has to leave my house. That's the battle I'm going to go for now. It's from you and mommy, all this.
this started from. And it's upon me now to end it. It's upon me now to end it and kill my wife. I'm yeah, sorry. I'm so me. sorry. Yes, uh, favor and Bemi yes, asked me to pay you a visit. Yes, they said you need peace and healing in your house. Yes, I need peace and healing. I need peace and healing in my house. Thank you. Wow, what a crowded home. Yes, it's crowded. Before I can do anything here, you need to send everyone out. Ah. 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 Don't go. God, I just want peace. I just want peace. God. God. Oh, this is crazy. Strange things in our home. No, it beats me too. Baby says we need to send everybody out before we can have our peace. Amy. Yes, got over there. I'm sorry. I'm not sure what's going on. So, how do we get all of them out? I think I need someone I can speak to about this. Oh. Madam Eva. Madame Fever. Yes. Madame Fever. <laughs> yes. Yes. Aunt Florence. Florence. What is it? Don't you ever touch me again? I'm very, very sorry, Aunt Florence. I am so sorry. I am not happy about what is happening in this house. I am so sorry. It has gone beyond our plan. <laughs> We only brought Auntie Josephine to, to, to make you jealous. I didn't know the devil was going to hijack it for us. Please. <laughs> you are funny. You are not happy. When it's not I going am... your way, you are not happy. <laughs> ah, baby. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Please, let's go to my brother's room. I want to talk to you privately. <laughs> say whatever you have to say. I am listening. Oh, you want me to follow you privately so you can kill me, Abby? I can't. That's your plan. No, now. <laughs> At least you've done your worst. You've brought your brother's ex into my matrimonial home. Auntie Florence, please, for the last time. <laughs> I am not happy about everything that is happening. Believe me, you. <laughs> Can go, can be going. I'm following you. I'm at your back, just thank you. Going, <laughs> oh God, those men should be just back on that. Way. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't know what has come over me. I don't really know. Anytime I'm closer to that, to that, to that just pain, I just, I just lose it. You lose it all. I lose it all. <laughs> Didn't I tell you to let her not stay in this house? <sighs> but you refused. That's my bad. See, baby, baby, I'm ready to let everyone go. I'm ready to let everyone go. Please. See, to be honest, I saw a dream. I don't know. This dream, I, I saw, I saw. I saw an elderly man in white. I, I saw, I saw, yes, I saw this woman, um, that woman, um, Madame Fever from um, Lighthouse. I was like, yeah, that, that academy I took you to. I saw her in the dream with this man. This man was fully white. You know, you know what caught my attention? The man said, the man said something that caught me. He said, he said, he, he can't enter into my house until I, I, I let everyone go. See, I have to. Everyone would go, baby. Please, please. I, I don't, I don't know what this dream means, but, but I think it's something positive to us. Please, 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 baby. Please keep this straight face out. Please. Madame Fivo. Yes, Madame Fivo. Yes, Madame Fivo. Yes. I had a dream that you and Bimi mentioned her name. I you had a dream. Yes. Are you serious? You had a dream. The the one of you mentioned her name in the dream. How? The two dreams mean the same thing. When a person or a couple allows third party influence into their marriage, it opens them to the spirit of hatred, unnecessary rivalry between you both, spirit of um, fighting, and even the stranger that has come into your home is allowing the third party. Bible says that a man shall leave his father and his mother and he shall cleave unto his wife and they shall become what? One flesh. Just one one becoming what? One. But in this case, from what I can perceive from both of you, you've allowed your parental influence to get into this marriage. I am seeing more of an extension of your parents' marriage in this marriage. From what you said earlier, you can trace the beginning of this problem to her wanting to have a way based on what her mom taught her, right? And likewise, she said the same thing. That you're always saying, mommy said this, mommy said that, mommy said this. Yes, ma'am. Meaning that you want to bring your mother's philosophy, your mother's way of life into this marriage. And it shouldn't be so. So when we talk about third party influence, it's not necessarily the physical being, but it could be the way a person thinks. Even the media can be a third party. Oh, this is the way this woman behaves. Oh, this is the way my neighbor behaves. But what should happen in this kind of young marriage is that you come together and think about what works for us. Okay, so let's say this. 
your parents like sugar and his own family does not like or like sugar if sugar is the problem in this marriage why don't you start using honey mm. <laughs> do you get that try to find a balance try to find what works for your own marriage and mr taddy the dream you said you had you said you saw an elderly man coming into your house wanting to fix the house but he left, right? Um, that elderly man was God, actually. And the reason why you saw that I was the one who brought him to your house is because Bemi and I have been praying for your family. We invited the Prince of Peace into your home. And that's why you saw him. So he actually came, but guess what? He couldn't do anything because of the unwanted crowd in your house. Okay, let me let me make let me make this make sense to you. Um, so can you open your Bible to Matthew twenty one twelve, please? Okay, yes. Um, Matthew twenty one verse twelve. Yes. It says, and Jesus entered the temple and drove out all those who were buying and selling in the mm -hmm. temple, okay. and overturned the tables of the money changers. And the seeds of those who are selling those. Beautiful. Um, can you open to Matthew 9? Yes, from verse 23 to 25. Matthew 9, 23, 23 to 25. 25. Okay. When Jesus entered the synagogue leader's house okay. and saw the noisy crowd and people playing pipes, he said, Go away. The girl is not dead, but asleep. Hmm. But they laughed at him. After the crowd had put outside, he went in and took the girl by the hand, and hmm. she got up. Hmm. Mr. and Mrs. Oluwa Bimidike. Yes, ma'am. The only third party that is permitted in your marriage is God. Bible says that the threefold cord cannot be easily broken. In the world system, two is a couple, three is a crowd. That crowd meaning external bodies. But in, in the things of the spirit, three with God is a threefold cord that cannot be easily broken. So what you need to put your marriage together is you, you, and God. But that has not been the case. Like you read in these two scriptures, let me break it down. When Jesus entered his own house, which is the temple, the synagogue, he saw them doing what? Yes. Buying and selling a lot of rubbish, like what you saw in your dream, that you saw those demonic things in your house. Yes, Jesus did what? He took the broom and swept them out. He didn't want the crowd in the house of God. Likewise, the part you read about the child that died, what happened? When Jesus entered, there were mourners. There were a lot of people crying. The baby is dead. The girl is dead. Jesus told them what? He said, send the crowd out. And it only remained the father, the mother, and the disciples that were with Jesus, these disciples represent people like us, maybe your pastor, your counselor, that may be able to teach you the right way to go. But outside that, even at some point, Jesus and the disciples would have left. It would have only remained who? The father, the mother, and the girl. So in marriage, it should always be you, you, and God. But I have a question, Ma. Please go ahead. What What if my mother is old and sickly and she needs to stay with me? Does okay. that make her a third party? Mm, brilliant question. So, if your mom is old and sick and she needs to stay with you, I don't think it will be a problem because at that point, she's not causing problems. However... If her staying in your house would still cause problems 
maybe like your husband saying, oh, you don't have time for me, you're just taking care of your mother. There are a lot of things that could just actually come up. The best thing to do at that point is still to preferably get her an apartment close to you where you can get a professional nurse to take care of her or a maid and you go check her up every day. Do you, do you understand? Yes, now, even when we go back to scriptures, when God created Adam and Eve, there was no third party. But the moment the third party came in, being the serpent, what happened? They disobeyed God. So God does not like the crowd. It's a man and a woman with God. Hmm? Thank you. So, um... Mr. Tade and Mrs. Florence, it's high time you sent away the spiritual and physical crowd in your marriage. Thank you, ma'am. Thank God. We thank God. You should also thank Baby for that. Thank you so much, Baby. We thank God. You must be joking. Look here, I'm not leaving this house. Oh. I am not stepping out of this house. <laughs> Daddy, look me in the eye and tell me to leave your house. He doesn't have to look into your eyes. I am his wife. And whatever I say, he says, Josephine, we want you out of this house. Isn't that right, Daddy? Very true, my dear. Very true. It's fine. I'm going to leave your house. But just know one thing. You both are going to regret this. I promise you. You are going to regret this. <laughs> Abi, we'll get rest. One down. Oh. So you both sat here. You sat here and you couldn't come to my defense, right? So you brought me here to be really good. Abi, no problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. It is not our fault. You stepped out of the line. You rushed things too much. Eh? You 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 will have been patient in sleeping with that day. There's no even problem. I like to say bye. No ma I know how best to fight for myself. Continue from where I stopped. Now that Josephine is out of the house, oh, yeah. how goes to make her mother's leave? Oh, ah. That is the problem now. Um, just that we have to be very tactical with our decisions, you know. Mm -hmm. Since your mom is still around and she's doing her training in Lagos, we can't just ask her to leave like that. But what we'll do is we'll rent her a shorted apartment outside so that she can still be going for her training, pending when, you know. And as for my sister and my my mom, it will be very easy to convince her now since we are in good terms with Bini, you know. So that will ease the process. They will leave time. They will leave. We don't, we don't have to rush it. You know? oh God, I don't know anything. She needs for God. We cannot do it for a long time. We don't know anything. It's 
going to be easy now because things are getting better. We have peace yeah. here. I you think know? that's a good idea. Oga! 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 Who's there? It's me, Demi. What is it? Your mommy and your other mommy. She is sick and I don't know what they do them. Come and check them, my bed, ma. I'm going to call my brother. What's going on? I just bought this. She drink from what? Uh, I just had to go all over my body. All of a sudden. Cold. Uh, I have to take her to the hospital. I have to take her to the hospital. Uh, That's what I have to uh, do. Hospital, okay. Uh, this is not a matter of hospital. What is it? Uh, let me go home. Home? Mm -hmm. I will go and take her. Yes, sir. No, 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 mommy. I understand you want to go home. Uh, you would go. Uh, but, not in this condition. Hospital uh, first. That's the first thing. Please, I need to go start uh, My stomach! Did you hear that? Uh, uh, that should be easy. Come, come, come. What's going on? Hey, hey, don't skip. Don't skip. So I have this backstory I want to tell you. But before that, my name is Okoyemi Akitsune, writer, producer at Deep Thought Films. So what's the backstory? I'm sure you're saying new faces like you saw in the party and the keys in r and i series and you're like oh where are these people coming from well they are students of the deep thought film academy they attended our acting program and when we did an audition call they sent in their audition videos like you can see on the screen and they got the role about four of them actually got roles in this series with veteran actors and actresses oh so what does this tell you in case you're a christian creative and you want to join the deep thought films why don't you chat the number on your screen you will be attended to because we hold our trainings every month so what are you waiting for hey hey i'm not true please like yeah share and comment because it helps our algorithm it makes the page grow because when YouTube sees that there are a lot of likes, a lot of comments, they believe that that page is worth watching, so they recommend to others. And yes, we need your support. Yes, your financial support because it, it costs a lot to produce movies. And oh, you don't have 10 million. You don't even have 1 million. Listen, as low as 1,000, 2,000, 5,000, 10,000 will go a long way because I tell people that the batteries that we use to power our audio, a pack costs about 1,000 naira. And sometimes during the production, we might buy up to 10 packs. So that's about 10,000 naira. You can make that a, a thing of commitment that every month I will be buying the batteries. And that way you are a voice in our evangelism journey. So yes, we're waiting for your support. The 1,000, the $1,000, the $10,000. What God cannot do does not exist, right? We don't want to limit what God can do. So God bless you. I appreciate you. I love you just the way you are. I love you just the way you are. I love you just the way you are. I love you just the way you are Cause you are beautiful and beautiful and Faithful and fashion And perfect in profession Love you just the way you are I love you just the way you are I love you just the way you are Just the way you are You are creatively created Handsomely handsome Perfectly in perfection I love you just
just the way you are. I love you just the way you are. I love you just the way.